Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to attempt to make this oil and bolt gauge for the cradle. So I've always wanted one of these oil and bolt gauges. They look pretty cool and why not try to get one? So the prices have gone up like madness prices. So, so I, right, if I can't buy one, let's make one. So they're pretty easy. They're just an outside square and an inside square. So how hard can it be? So I asked online and some very kind people gave me some measurements. And when you have the measurements, you can kind of work out how it all goes together. Right, so first thing is I got pouring foam or modeling foam, cut out the center, and I decided I'd try and recreate how it goes together. So that's the first attempt or second attempt, I can't remember, but that's how it's going to look. Okay, so not too bad for our first attempt. There is a small gap there at the bottom where my thumb is, but overall it's looking pretty good. This is my very first attempt at making one of these gauges. So it was cut out in totally roughly with no measurements taken whatsoever. Um, just a basic, this height, this length, cut the square out, that's been it. I'm gonna see if I can 3D scan this. Hiya, oh yeah, so I said I'd give you a quick update on how I'm getting on. So this will be very, very quick. So this is prototype one and um, got expanding foam. Uh, didn't take too much care in measurements, so that's why the box here is a little bit wonky. But um, just want to see if it works, see if the walls would collapse or would they hold. It worked pretty well. Second one, um, again, this time I made sure that the box is more level and more square. And these sides here are convexed. Um, just want to make sure, you know, give a really good impression. And um, yeah, kind of worked well. Not totally happy with how the box turned out. It's kind of a bit off shaped. This is prototype three. And um, so what I did was I tried to make the sides concave. So that's when they're like sloped in. So when you make them, you have to be a bit more um, careful making it. And again, the box here isn't quite right. This is Prototype 4, this time without the vinyl wrap, I used a black spray paint, spray paint, but the solvent is after reacting and it's after eating into the uh, styrofoam, so that's never good. But uh, the box was a lot more square, uh, or sorry, more level or parallel with the two walls or at either end, but um, yeah, it didn't quite work out. It's, it's right, but I think this angle here, I think it's meant to be like V-shaped either side so I'm um, getting there that's prototype 4 prototype 5 um, I don't think it survived and prototype 6 disintegrated I modified too much and made too many alterations I tried 3d scanning it it's a free app called clone it works okay but a lot of the detail is lost so I downloaded this app called clone and they give you a 3d render of an elephant so I decided I'll just have a quick play around with it first um, yeah, you can see there my hand is just passing through it that it's not a real elephant, it is actually just 3D render and you can animate it as well, which is pretty cool, so you can have the elephant walking around the board. Um, yeah, there's loads of great detail in it, you can see all the wrinkles on the elephant, the, even the shadow underneath the elephant, the elephant's ears, you can see it from different directions. So I'm going to try to use this app to scan my gauge face and maybe make a 3D render of it. The problem I'm having is it won't fit onto the scan bed, so I'm going to probably have to cut in half, scan one half, then scan the other half, and see how it goes. Okay, so here's a video demo of actually using the app. So you, it creates this ball, and you just keep turning it around, and each of these little rectangles, you have to get a picture of each one of them. So the app does everything. You just have to keep moving it. I found if you use a cheese board, you can just spin it quite easily, and you hold the camera very still. Um, yeah, it takes a lot of patience to work it. Um, th this one here is scanning a car seat. So you can see that the seat is very flat where your bum would go. Um, so here you are just finishing the last of the scan. But you can see where your bum goes isn't as flat as it should be. So a lot of detail can get lost. I decided to scan a random nut around the garage. And yeah, you can see it didn't quite get all the detail. And I got this little cylinder and scanned it. The graphics are a little bit twisted and a lot of detail can easily be lost. It's it's more of a gimmick than an actual good app. So um, 
it didn't really work so what I'm going to do is stay making it with these and not bother with the 3d printing and um, just see how I get on when I have it perfect I might try like take loads of photographs from like 360 degree spin and then maybe do the 3d um, modeling and 3d printing but I'm not going to use any funny apps or anything like that to make it um, this one actually turned out the best um, I'm quite happy how it's looking uh, I would like black um, uh, wrap on it but um, it doesn't look too bad uh, it's very hard to get it without creasing it because it's going into a, sh a shape it doesn't want to do also the wrap is kind of old I think it's about five or six years old back when wrapping was cool and the in thing and um, just a piece I've left over and the glue doesn't really like sticking to the the modeling foam so slowly getting there and I'll keep you updated so I have a little gauge face just made up and um, I decided to wrap it and just see how it all looks even with a gauge in it and um, yeah it looks pretty good so this is it now installed in the car with the volt gauge and still to do up the oil pressure gauge so for anyone else that would have just been happy with that, I decided, no, I really want black rather than the carbon wrap. And let's try and make it out of fiberglass and then paint it. So we take our foam mold and we made a fiberglass mold of it. I'll turn around, you can see it. So that's it. So this is now a negative mold. So we pull the plug off. This is now our negative mold. So when we cast this, I can make multiple castings of this. And I'll have loads of positive molds, which will actually be this again and um, then you just cut out the hole in the center and that'll be for your gauges so what I've done is I put wax on it and um, I put aluminium tape on it so hopefully it won't stick because if you have fiberglass and you have uh, fresh fiberglass when they touch off each other they'll permanently glue and um, it'll be a pain in the arse to separate them afterwards so okay so I have it here I have the negative on this side and negative on this side and then the positive is in the middle so i'm going to separate them now so that's the bottom released so i already had it released but i put plenty of wax on it made it very easy to release and um now i'm going to separate the top now to release the top so now i'm going to release the top i had to give it a quick angle grind just on the corner there just where the two bits of fiberglass were touching there wasn't enough um release agent there so I have it all released and it came off perfectly so I have uh, this all waxed which helps so much and look at that guys that is perfect so what you look for is um, try to make it as smooth as you can because obviously that makes the next stage even easier again so yeah that is lovely and smooth all over so there's nothing in the center but that's gonna be cut out anyway for the gauges so what I'm planning to do is make a few of these. So that's why I had to make a positive and a negative. So yeah, it's turned out really nice. So that's, sorry, that's the right way up. So the gauges fit there and that's gonna sit into the surround. Okay, let's clean this up a little bit better and see how it all looks. So there you have it. That's the front kind of nearly finished. So. I do have it to a little bit of filler just there. I have given it a quick sand and gave it a lick of paint. It's kind of a dusty black. I'm not very really happy with it. I want it kind of maybe a bit slightly more glossier or less dusty looking black. But um, yeah, so far, very happy with that. So I obviously cut the hole out of the center of it. And um, it's looking really well. So now to install a gauge face and just see what roughly it's going to look like okay this is just a quick view of what's going to look like so that's it with the uh, flash on so it is over exposing it a bit but um yeah it looks lovely so that's how it, that's going to look so this is the original one that i had which was the carbon fiber wrap so i decided the black it was okay it wasn't great i wasn't totally happy with it but it got on so well with the wrapping i went with black matte wrap which I don't think is too bad. Now, it'll never be as good as an original one, but for the cost of it, for doing it for basically nothing, I'm very, very happy with it. So guys, that's a bit of a different video than I normally do. It's more of a video diary. Um, yeah, I've been doing this for the last probably year. Just on and off, every so often when I'd have a bit of free time just to try something different. 
Um, it didn't turn out too bad. Probably not as good as an original one, or probably never be as good as the original one. But the price of them is just madness, especially the UK ones. So if you do do 3D printing and you have some free time and you'd like to build me one, that'd be awesome. I'd feature you, no problem. Um, yeah, I know there is a few people doing them. Um, they're just started, so I was the first guy. And I remember like asking people for measurements and people were like, why, why do you want measurements? So I was like, I'm going to build one myself. So yeah, I've been slowly building mine. Um, yeah, it takes a long time and a lot and a lot, a lot of uh, prototypes and ones that go wrong. And this isn't my job. I don't do this for a living or anything like that. So it takes me extra long. And I know like people are like, oh, why don't you just 3D print it? Well, first of all, um, I don't do any 3D printing. I don't own a 3D printer. And I don't really know of people that do have one. So I just wanted to try out the old fashioned way, that, which I've always done is make negative box and then you make positive mold of it. Um, using the fiberglass that's the way i've always done stuff so i tried it yeah i'm i'm happy with it like it it's it's basically a face that's all it has to do and just show the gauges it's nothing magical it's not um structurally or anything like that so i'm happy with it so but if you do have one and you'd like to get it featured if you make them the, the gauge faces whatever and you want to get a feature on this channel please get in contact i would love one um just to get a really good one, like a really good print, uh, compared to my own one and compared to how it looks in the car, that'd be absolutely amazing. So as always guys, if you like this video, it took me bloody ages to do, it took me over a year to do probably, uh, or even longer, like I did it like from the start of lockdown, um, every so often doing a bit. So if you do like this video, please do rate, comment, subscribe. Definitely subscribe and watch, um, it always helps me out because I'm trying to get that number up as high as I can and yeah thanks very much for watching if you would like to sponsor this video or you would like to give me a donation or like a thumbs up kind of thing um there's a link in the description below for buy me a virtual cup of coffee at obviously buymeacupofcoffee.com so yeah it's a virtual cup of coffee it's basically like buying me a pint or buying me a beer or buying me a coffee just to say well done here's a, a cup of coffee to keep you going um that'd be absolutely awesome too so as always guys thanks for watching see you next time Thank <laughs> you.